Hey everyone, so let's talk about the new leaked images. Now this is a no watermark GIF, I'll be going through them. It seems like the leaker is posting something every day and waiting, you know, for DICE or EA to respond. Obviously, I don't think EA will post anything until June itself, so stay patient for a trailer. This is the first version of the trailer, I'm guessing there are multiple versions, and if it's the first version, it means it's actually very early. But this time, and today, the leaker actually posted a different clip, and that is, you know, the Osprey falling down. So we can see over here we can see some sort of an observatorium and you know a lot of soldiers being dead yes you can only see a few frames someone put it up together so huge shout out to our Rick Human for actually putting this together but if we check over here this is what the leaker posted himself so you know he always posts this troll face probably to get a community reaction and what we can see over here is the soldiers are wearing some kind of gear um, I don't know what the soldier is doing you know it's just a few frames the book one the book eight and I don't know if this refers to you know tom henderson's sketchbook which said he will be you know basically recreating the trailer if it doesn't come out in may and the book eight uh the book three the book six it probably means that you know he's gonna be releasing multiple books which can be connected into a frame it seems like and what we can see you know the osprey crashing and falling every single frame actually destroys something now if we check over here and you can see smoke in the background you can see very bad weather and this is something you know tom henderson has been showing an osprey over here obviously i don't like these leaks being out there but uh it seems like like the leaker will just post them and <laughs> it isn't probably far now until we get a trailer leak as well so what we can see here is this soldier as tom henderson was describing actually looking at the osprey itself we can see you know a few rockets ex oh, well not the rockets the osprey crashing into these soldiers here uh they're trying to run away uh i don't know what exactly if there are any details into here that we have missed they seem to be wearing you know no future tech gear but actually just normal backpacks now it's still hard to see the soldiers this is probably Probably the f closest we have ever been to the actual glimpse of the game. So if we look over here, this is the like the first first version of the soldiers. They all have helmets, as Tom Henderson was implying. They have some sort of a white green gear, probably to go along when actually being in the forest. But definitely a really exciting news. I'm just hoping you know we get a better trailer. We get something else from Dice and Ian themselves pretty much soon because these leaks have been getting out of hand. But there's one thing I also want to talk about. Always take these leaks with a grain of salt. It's very likely possible that they will not, you know, be included. For example, in Battlefield 5, we saw the Osprey crashing and or the jet crashing and it actually never happened. So, you know, a lot of this content can be actually removed from the game. You can see some sort of an explosion here in the background. It seems like this is the last frame. And, you know, if the leaker keeps posting every day, we'll probably probably be seeing a lot more frames in the following days so he's basically trying to generate hype right by releasing the trailer by itself so said this a few times but i'm gonna repeat it again leaks should always be taken with a grain of salt and that's what i keep saying no matter where they come from the meaningful of a leak is when the developers are not ready to announce information for whatever reason but it releases somehow anyway and this is exactly what is happening right now sometimes even announced features the battlefield 5 crash landings for example don't make it to the game so take everything said with a grain of salt when it comes to leaks with caution too many people are taking what i say as 100 fact and I'm guessing Tom Henderson only has information or only has leaks as you take them from the first version of the game, which a lot of it can be removed. You know, for example, a Battle Royale when Warzone was created, of course, have every single game will have the idea for a Battle Royale. Even obvious jokes, and this is, you know, something that Tom Henderson has been talking. Uh, the, everything he says, you know, some articles are already being made to talk about this. You know, words that rhyme with soon, 30th June, boom, imagine if they did that, Battlefield. A couple of sites already use this tweet as fact, and if you're checking these sites out, be sure to be very wary. It's obviously a joke, and I definitely do agree with him here. If we check, you know, he's already be saying again, leaks should be always taken with a grain of salt. And more Battlefield seconds, screenshot leaks, you know, just seven hours ago, it seems like a lot of sites overall are making such claims or such reporting on such pictures just wanted to get that out here that you know this is being pretty much mainstream we're gonna be seeing if the leaker posts the mp4 file from the secret matches just he has said that he actually will be so i'm definitely concerned about that i'm hoping it does not happen and the leaker you know change his mind doesn't post the trailer dice or ea post the original trailer and we are all happy now if you want more content like this if you want more battlefield 6 news be sure to subscribe and leave a like thank you so much for watching